Good evening. Today we're going to follow another recipe of my father's to tie another fly. The woolly worm. This is the front and back of his original recipe card from five decades ago. What I have in the vise is a size 8 euphorin hook. I believe it's a 2 extra long nymph hook. And the thread I'm going to use is Danville 140 denier in black. Tie your thread on and wrap it all the way back to the top of the bend of the hook some point along the way, cut away your tag end. The hackle we're using today is from Sideline Hill Hackle. It is a dyed olive brown neck. Real nice hackle, so I picked it up. And we're going to start with a tail on this fly. And what I did is select one extra large feather off the neck and pluck all the barbarals off it and put it in my deer hair stacker and stacked them down to even them up as best I could to make an extra thick tail. And when you take the hackle barbarals out of the deer hair stacker Make sure the tail is facing the right direction toward the back of the fly. That way you don't have to switch around in your hands. And take that big clump of hackle bar rolls, lay it right on top of the hook shank, wrapping it back, securing it, and take a few thread wraps up under the tail. That way it plays out on you a little bit. And continue to wrap forward, securing all that hackle, trying to keep everything nice and even. Our next material is this silver tinsel we're going to use for a body wrap. Go ahead, tie it in. This is actually part of my father's stash of materials so it's probably somewhere around 30 to 50 years old I'm guessing the tinsel is medium small Nil we're going to use for the body is also from his original stash. You can see the difference in the size of the stuff that I have. But that it's not necessarily chenille. It's a sparkle yarn. It's a little thicker. Works well on bigger woolly buggers. But I wanted to use something a little thinner. So I had just a few strands of his original chenille left and I'm using it on this fly. And once you have it securely attached, take the chenille and wrap it forward, touching the previous wrap along the way. And when you get to the front, tie it off with several turns, making sure it's secure. And now you can cut away the excess, and you can give it several more thread wraps, securing it even further.
now we're going to select another hackle feather. In selecting this feather, we want to make sure we have one long enough and we want the barbules to be short enough. We don't want very long barbules on this fly, but we do want the feather to be long enough to reach all the way to the back of the fly. And once you've selected a feather, take your scissors and cut away the webby fibers on the bottom. You want to make sure you're wrapping in the stiffest of the fibers. And on this feather, you have a shiny side and a dull side. You want to make sure when you wrap this hackle backwards that the shiny side faces forward. And how I achieve that is I actually tie in the dull side facing me and when I start wrapping it flips over so the shiny side faces forward. And at this point continue to palmer your hackle backwards all the way back to the rear of the fly. And you can see what I did there. I attached my hackle pliers to make it a little easier. I want to point out that at the front of the fly, I started with two wraps. That way it makes it nice and full at the head of the fly. And once you reach the rear of the fly with your hackle, grab the tinsel and capture the hackle tip and wrap back forward with the tinsel up through the hackle. I'm going to wiggle it along the way, try not to capture any of the hackle. And when you get to the front, go ahead and tie it off. You see I give it about four or five wraps here. Once you have it tied off, go ahead and cut away the excess tinsel. And now you can cut away the tip of the hackle feather. Now stroke back all the hackle fibers and wrap several times right in front of it to build yourself up a nice little head and dress up the fly a little bit. And grab your whip finish tool, give it a few wraps to secure your thread. There you have it, the woolly worm. You notice the tail is different than probably others that you've seen. A lot of guys have tied it in the past with a red wool tail. And in fact, there's a few of them in my father's box with a red wool tail. And there's also a few of them designed exactly like this. So, 
following his recipe, this is how I tied it. And to finish this fly, add a little salientes to the thread. If you like these videos, please give me a subscribe, hit that like button, give me a comment. I always appreciate the comments. And stay tuned for more. Stay safe out there. And I hope you're out catching some fish.